Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, well, we what, we sprang ahead an hour, so we're officially in daylight savings time. I don't even know what time it, daylight savings time it is. Let's see here. Sunday. So eleven, eleven, eleven. Okay, eleven, twelve. Oh, good. Um. Uh. So that would be. What I'm accustomed to is it would be would be a little bit after ten in yesterday's time. But anyway. Um yeah, we got some that's interesting. Got some um uh windy windy, very windy kind of it's been blowing all night last night and still this morning now we got some some rain coming through off and on for the next hour or so with the wind uh, and um, but it's the Pisces new moon and the energy is that we're we're all getting ready for huge changes right now. Everybody. Everybody. So, with that in mind, with my little, what would that be? Like, nine foot by nine foot. Would it even be nine feet? No, it's more like... Oh, well. It's more like eight, seven or eight, really. Yeah. Anyway, my little space, my little spot here on this hill. <laughs> um, I'm happy to say, yesterday, okay, I cleaned up this wall. Right, and continue to have my food, but back here, let me see, uh, not this way, okay, so back here, I stored, I had like some, um, some of those, um, what do you call those, packing, you know, U-Haul packing blankets that I had propped up. And it served both it's, Oh that's sleet coming down our grapple um, it served both as insulation and to to hold the structure of the tent and um, and I had some boxes back there too which worked very good for just making sure nothing's falling apart here in this wind. Um, that, uh, that prior to the spring that sprung up under my tent, God, way back in January in that first intense rain, snow and rainstorm we had, um, uh, the boxes work great, yeah. but um, when when the water came up from underneath, of course it, the boxes got all wet on the bottom. So, so I replaced the boxes. I pulled them out and cleaned the stuff up. And, um, and now I, I, I was able to get a bunch of these Walmart bags, and they're very good for keeping the, uh, you can't really see it, but they're very good at, um, they're a larger bag, you know, re reusable, of uh, keeping, keeping, I'm going to just shut this a little bit. I wanted to get the air to come through. 
something to say here. That's fine. So I can get some some air in, but <laughs> I don't want to... <gasps> I don't want the gust to come in and just lift the tent up off the Ooh That's intense. Um but anyway so yesterday I cleaned that out and um and then and then organized it and, and uh put all the stuff in like plastic bags and everything double so any more moisture that comes through it's not gonna get the stuff wet that felt good and then of course I sprayed my my um uh isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol. You just kind of keep the mold and the fungus a um, little bit at bay. So, um, so I was, I was happy with what I was able to get accomplished yesterday and organized food and everything. So now, today, um, with this new moon, This morning, I um, woke up and, and uh, I was able to get up and do my knitting. I'm really, okay, that would have been 1.30. The clock said 1.30. I thought, oh, geez, still have an hour, but I forgot things. Uh, whatever. But I was able to do my knitting in the middle of the night, and it wasn't so darn cold that I didn't have to completely cover myself with the sleeping bag and read. I was able to keep a little bit of fresh air. Okay. But anyway, I, I, I got up and I slept and dreamt and got up and dreamt and or woke up. I stay in the sleeping bag because it's too cold to leave. It's like, I'm like... I guess, in a way, it's kind of like my little papoose or my cradle board here. Because once I'm in that mummy bag, sometimes I can turn over on my side and bend my knees a little bit. But for the most part, um, it's like in a mummy bag. It's like a, a, a cradle board, papoose. And I was like thinking of that this morning because I just have to Put my arms straight down and my legs straight down, and I just am there, <laughs> you know, all bundled up. So I thought that was kind of cool to, uh, to uh, see that as a cocooning, but also to, to, to get a little bit of just some ideas and perceptions as to the genius of cradle boards because they were all over all over um, Turtle Island uh, in many many different traditions uh, in, in nations First Nations so so there was something to it because I, I did watch a video one time on how to put the baby in the cradle board and how to how to pack it up, how to clean its diapers or its whatever. Um, and there's good reason for that. It's definitely a safe, safe, safe and supported. Um, but it has something to do also too with being curled up in fetal position and then being laid out straight, you know, in a long position. Let the body grow and develop. Anyway, but then I get up and I can still hear them. There's somebody next door. 
Must have put up a tent. You know, some guys just talking, 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 talking. And I, I can hear, and that's the thing about being intense. You can hear everybody's what they're talking about. And, um, and it brought to mind, you know, my uh, upbringing where I'm the oldest of eight kids, five of them brothers, and um, how the, a very patriarchal, literally misogynist um, uh, upbringing. And so I had to sit there and listen to these guys as a baby and an infant, and they were stupid. They really were stupid. I'm sorry. And so was my dad. And my mom wasn't, but she she uh, let herself she let herself be, which millions and millions of women across many traditions. Uh, oh well, this storm for this storm, because I'm not seeing that last tarp I put on is halfway loose and it's flapping back and forth. Oh well. Can't just gotta let it be for now. Um and and I just had to let myself be abused and neglected and humiliated and rejected re rejected by them and just be a slave. And um, and then had to follow their stupidity and destructiveness. It just, so like listening to these guys. Um, it definitely activated my ego. And now it's like, it's, it's good for bringing it up because um, because with this Pisces, both sun and moon and Saturn's in Pisces too. Um, or Pisces and Saturn. No, wait a minute. Pisces and Saturn. No, Saturn's in Pisces. <laughs> anyway, um, it's helping me bring that rage and anger and sense of separation from God and from goodness and truth and everything and you know living in this nightmare hell and it's like constantly calling on God God where are you what am I doing here who are these people get me out of here and and, and then angry angry at everybody which was supposed to be the process to put the shadow in place. Ooh, baby. And, okay, but that's the winds of change. Blowing away the dross, blowing away the dead wood. And it is. And so for me to, um, to recognize my egoic, my Chiron, and my my egoic woundings through that particular family that all of us as souls agreed to be a part of, <laughs> and and get to the healing and and let that let that um, let that. Let the bonds of the past, or the chains of the past, to break free. And and I was, uh, for the most part, I was able to like kind of get a sense of the these guys. And then and then I passed it on to my brothers and my father. My father's stuff runs deep though the rage. Um. But that's okay, you can bring stuff up and I let it go and I get to a place of peace. And, um, 
And now it's like, because the next phase, <clears throat> I get to, it's, it's time to um, allow the healing and now to implement my gifts and the love and the light of this incarnation for myself and for everyone. And so, um, so it's oddly enough hopeful, but it's going to be a all around me though. Folks are having a hard time, really, because we're all going through this process. So I always tell people up here on the hill, it's just like, what goes on up here on the hill is no different than what goes on in the houses, whether they're multi-million dollar mansions or little tiny houses. It's the same stuff. It's just like everybody can see it and hear it up here. Um, so, dang, it's, it's rough. It's rough. So, um, so anyway, so all in all, in the midst of the storm, the next storm, they just keep coming through. And then Monday night into Tuesday, we're supposed to have another one. So, uh, so it's interesting. I woke up with what I thought was a, 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 a grain of sand. It felt in my left eye. Man, it could have been just an eyelash or some lint or something. Ooh, that hurt though. And it took a while for it to kind of, you know, release. And then finally I was able to get it out. But something about the boulder, what was that Bible thing? Well, it was on my left side, so I was able to like clear that out. So I can see, and I can let go of the pain. Because my anger at my dad is, you know, off the charts, but at my mom it's even more so. Even though she was this compliant, she never directly assaulted me or, or um, it was more nuanced. She just used me, you know, used me as a shield against my dad's rage. Use me as her handmaiden. She had no intention of, of standing up for herself or use me as her scapegoat. It's like, so again, coming to an end, coming to an end. And I am. I was really happy with myself of how, um, I really felt compassion for all of us. See, because it was the guys this morning and now now there's some really intense rage going on by the young woman. A little further up the hill. So, okay. That's enough for this morning. Good. Good way to start the day on the 10th of March, 2024, and a Pisces new moon. Sanam Waheguru Chimigach. Vamapi and many blessings.